For a minute or two. Yeah, it's been a few uh, few hours in between, maybe a whole day in between, so day two isn't quite an accurate description, but it's a decent description, and I was going to let this guy go, and he didn't go, but second day of this whole thing, and um, as I said, yeah, yesterday I saw the switch go off for my son, but at the same time, you know, he's 14, freshman, special needs classes, um, so you got a lot of asshole kids, um, you know, trying to give them a hard time, trying to start shit, um, so, but he, uh, he's not letting that shit hold him back, and I gotta love him for that, for so many other reasons as well, uh, but it's there, um, hopefully, you know, it was a daddy misdiagnosis, his uh, child's bipolar possible disorder, but if, you know, he were to be diagnosed with it, it wouldn't surprise us. It wouldn't surprise us if all three of our kids were diagnosed, but you don't want that. You don't want to hear that. You don't want to know that. You don't want it to be true, but you know, now as far as myself, I got up this morning feeling physically miserable, and I finally get a good night's sleep in bed before. 11 o'clock. Shit, I was probably asleep before 11.30. But woke up in more pain than usual. I'm sure the weather's not helping at all. Close that up for a bit. And, uh, I mean, I got up at 7.05 and by 7.45 tomorrow might be better at this point, but then it's going to get shitty at this point, and then it's going to get okay at this point, and it's going to be shitty at that point. No, no. You gotta you know, roll with the punches. Know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. <laughs> uh, nice Mustang. Oh, damn it. Yeah, did you catch a glimpse of the red and black one? Uh, yeah, it's first time I walk in there, they're not going to go, all right, let's make it a, a decent assessment on him, and let's get his weight, his age, what he goes through, da 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 Okay, let's, you know, up this so many milligrams and down this so many milligrams. Because, I mean, right now, as far as, uh, you know, mental health goes, uh, the only meds I'm on right now is, uh, and found a decent combination, thankfully, is Welbutrin and... Depakote. Now, the Depakote had been uh, prescribed to me years and years and years ago as a uh, uh, help with migraine headaches. And uh, since being diagnosed back in 2011, they decided to keep me on the Depakote because it's also a mood stabilizer. It also causes your hair to fall out.
jokes, leave your laughter, move on, okay, and, uh, yeah, so I'm on those two, and, uh, well, I'm taking a short hiatus, but normally I'm on 20 milligrams of Adderall twice a day as well, which I've been on longer than anything else, but, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's, things occurring since uh, since May. You know, our, our oldest turned 18, then she graduated, then she left for college. Nothing that, you know, uh, you know, that can prepare you for, for that, you know, your child moving off to college. And it's not like she's up the road or anything. Homegirls in freaking Pittsburgh. Damn. You know, but she's doing it. selfish in a way, although I don't think I should. Uh, my PSA results came back fine and normal. Um, so, thus far, I don't have prostate cancer. But it's just been uh, so much. And my normal thing would be to run away from shit. You know, and I, 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 I have process this. And how do I process this? I do where do I have the time, you know, so then I start to bottle shit up again, or I push it down to, to deal with it at a later time, and I know that's not right, I know what it's going to cause, I know, you know, I'm certain maybe that's why I feel the way I feel every, so often lately, but, shit, man, shit, say right now is shit you know, stuff that tears you up man you know, it tears you down tears you up and just leaves you sometimes temporarily sometimes permanently change for the better for the worse Not long ago. Um, it, it, it's 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 a weird thing, you know. I know I'm a husband. I know I'm a father. Although there's only two in the house, I still have three children that you know need me on different levels at different times. I understand that. But it's like when I come home, if I've got something to say or something to get off my chest, it's fine. I you know I say what I need to say. Get it out there, bitch of wine for a few minutes or whatever. But the second that, um, barring the kids, the kids I've gotten better at tolerating, for lack of a better term. Um, but let's say if my wife wanted to tell me about her day uh, or what was going on, it's like, I'm not ready yet. I have to deflate, or as I like to say, unwork, um, before I can, uh, you know, I, I, I got the rest of it, I got the shit off my chest, now I need to, you know, get back to form before I can go ahead and, and listen and offer feedback, opinion, thoughts, ideas, whatever, to 
you know, Joe's problem, Stevie's problem, you know, Kimmy's problem, Jill's problem, whatever. Um, you know, and, it, and it, it's rough because I'm a popular dude. <laughs> um, there are times when as soon as I came to the door, it was, Dad, 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 guess what, Dad, Dad. And like, that, that's great. I love that. But that fucker inside me that doesn't, you know, allow me to live a, a normal life hates it. And sometimes that shit jumps right through. I'm like, you should know by now, dad's got to have a few minutes. To just give me some dad time, you know? <laughs> uh, now, it's to the point where, um, I mean, today, for example, it just, it just hit me. Um, my wife took my son to his second soccer. Um, thank God he's playing on two teams this year. He's loving it. He's practiced uh, and done camps all summer long for the high school and for himself. Now he's, uh, they had their game, uh, his high school game today, JV, and they blanked him 5 nothing. He was playing on D, so he's part of that shutout. Um, and walked over to you know, see the varsity game. Uh, had a few, maybe an hour or so in between games, and now he's... <laughs> Switch clothing, put something dry on, and now he's gone up to practice again for an hour, hour and a half, whatever. But um, I love it. I love the sport. I love watching him play, especially. And uh, she even knew, like, okay, it's one of those days where, you know, she didn't even ask, do you want to go or do you want to take him to practice? She's like, right up their door with him. And so, yeah, I mean, there's some things you can plan and work around and work with but sadly you know, a person uh, like myself with you know these issues whatever you may want to call them uh, for everything that you can plan for and work around the same things you know sometimes you can't plan for or work around because you never know how that person's going to react from one day to the next um, Basically, just look at it this way. It's a mild case of nothing you can do will ever be enough or nothing you can do will ever be right, you know. It's, it, it sucks. It, it, it does. Especially when you're, you're, you're watching yourself, you know, from the inside, treating people, you know, less than what they should be treated as. People who treat you um, greater than what I deserve to be treated kicking the balls but yeah well, I'm home it's kind of quiet just me and the youngest right now so I'm gonna deflate on work medicate meditate and uh, I'm determined to drink those damn beers in my fridge I have two left so yeah Woo. so yeah I guess this might be enough for the night all right Bye.